they're strong men, you know, and this will make you a man very quickly. And um, they, they've been in a lot of prayer, and a lot of thoughts, lots of prayers coming from all over Mississippi and, and pretty much the United States. Uh, a lot of people have outpouring of support for these young guys. So they, they're, they're riding a wave of prayer and, and support that, that they may not even realize right now, but we all are. And, um, you know, we, we've talked all week about honoring MJ, you know, not, not with a win, but with our effort and, and being excellent in our pursuit of academics and athletics and, and, us, and our personal lives and just being, being those men that we, we want to be, living to a higher standard and, and a standard that, that MJ, you know, he, he set that standard in his own life. Oh man, it was just uh, thankful that the Joseph family and Reverend Hawkins and, and the rest of the uh, Union Baptist Church family allowed us to come over and to be a part of, of remembering MJ and, and, and Keith Sr. I, you know, I don't ever think of Keith Sr. that I don't think of him looking at me and saying, hey buddy, you know, I, I'm gonna miss that. Last time I saw him, he was standing by the fence and hey buddy, and just you know, exchanged a few words and asking about MJ and just such a, you know, such a tough time for all of us. What are you going to tell your guys before they walk out on the field? <laughs> Rise and grind for MJ.